What's going on guys? You know, creating content and making videos is getting easier and easier and apps like CapCut Desktop are, are almost making the professional softwares look kind of dumb, kind of silly actually, because um, CapCut has so many features packed in it. So today I wanted to talk about my four favorite AI features that are inside of the CapCut Desktop app. So let's get into it. So the first feature I wanted to talk about is called transcript based editing. So if you guys haven't heard of this, it's where uh, editing softwares will use AI to actually edit your video for you. They'll remove all the filler words and the pauses and things like that. So this is how this one works. All right, so I have a project open. I created this clip just for the purposes of making this video. So let me just go ahead and go up to transcript based editing. It's right here. You can also right click. You can go to transcript based editing right there, but let me just click on this icon and it's gonna analyze for a second. That probably took like 20 seconds to analyze this quick 30 second video. Let me go ahead and show you guys here the transcript. And right here in this video, I'm just trying purposely to add ums and uhs, um, but you'll see here that it gives me the option here to remove filler words. I can also search for any word I want inside here if I wanted to, you know, say I had like an hour long podcast or something like that. And I wanted to search for a particular part in the episode, or if there was a certain words that I wanted to cut out and I already knew that going into it, I could go ahead and search for those words, but let's just go here and go to remove filler words. It's identified this two second pause, this two second pause, and these ums and this long pause at the end. And if you go down to the timeline, it's actually grayed out here where those long pauses take place. So if I was to select delete, it'll make all the necessary cuts for me and I don't actually need to edit anything on my own. It's fantastic. So this is just a quick and easy way to whip together an edit for those of you guys who don't like messing with the timeline. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about uh, the enhanced audio feature and the vocal isolation feature inside of CapCut. All right, I'm at an intersection here right outside my office. You can see here's some cars over here. You should hear some, some wind as well. I'm just using the onboard mic on my iPhone here to shoot this. And now I'm gonna select the enhanced voice option inside of CapCut. And as you can see here, it has really cleaned up my voice. And, you know, sometimes when we're shooting listing videos, we're going to have, you know, planes flying by overhead. We're going to have motorcycles whipping by. You know, we can't really choose what's going on at the property where we're shooting the video. But CapCut uses AI to really strongly reduce that background noise. So, all right. So this one is really easy to do. I have my clip down in my timeline. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to select audio. From there, we're actually going to scroll down and you're going to see here where it says enhance voice and it has vocal isolation. So if I was to select enhance voice, it'll actually process a little bit. And as you can see here, it's taken a few seconds. It'll probably take like a minute for this 40 second clip. And you can see that it's still uh, a little bit noisy. So you can go ahead and you can increase this to 100%. Here, right outside my office. You can see here's some cars over here. And that pretty much took care of all of the noise. The other thing that you can do is you can go into vocal isolation. This is typically better for like if you wanted to remove the vocals from a song, but occasionally I'll go in here and I'll select vocal isolation instead of enhanced voice. And sometimes that'll actually do a little bit better job than even the enhanced voice will. But with my experience with enhanced voice, if it's not super windy, um, like it was in this clip, you can go ahead and reduce this down to like 25 or 50 percent and it'll do a really good job of enhancing your voice but yet you won't have that super robotic sound that you get when you use uh, this enhanced voice feature at 100 percent but overall I think it still did a really good job considering how noisy it was and how much traffic noise I had in the background all right so number three this is one of the craziest AI features inside CapCut and it's called Relight so let me just show you guys how this works all right so now I'm just set up in my office I have the normal overhead light on I have a practical light behind me and these are not professional video lights but now I'm going to use AI inside of CapCut and I'm going to relight the scene so this is how it looks normally and here we are relit using the CapCut desktop app let me know what you guys think uh, how this turn out because if you ask me, AI is pretty amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and throw down my clip here. And then you're gonna see off here to the right under video and basic, I'm gonna go down to relight, I'll select relight. And then you'll see there's three 
uh, features here, facial, ambient, or creative. We're gonna stay in ambient, and I'm going to pick uh, this teal and orange one because it is pretty extreme and it gives you a good idea of how this is gonna look. It typically takes a few seconds to process, probably 30 to 45 seconds, but now you'll see it's completely processed and it used three lights. We have light one and two here, pointing in directly at me or behind me, I should say, because you can see here, it's pointed at the background. And then I have light three here, which is actually pointed at me. And you can actually select uh, for any of these lights, you can have it uh, point at both the background and the person, or just the person, or just the background. So in this case, we'll leave these two colorful lights as just the background, and then I'll select light three, and I'll make sure that this is like my key light, so I might increase the intensity a little bit. So then I'm gonna add another light here, and I'm gonna use this kind of as my fill light, so I'll move it over here. I'll have it point at people, and I'm gonna go ahead directional, so it's pointed at my face. And then I might increase the intensity a little bit on this side as well. And now we have a pretty decently lit scene compared to what it looked like before. Okay, so the fourth and final AI feature that I had to bring up inside of CapCut is gonna be the auto captions. And let me just show you really quick how this works. So here's my clip inside of the timeline. And then it's just as simple as going up here on the left to text and selecting auto captions. Then from there, you select your language. I'm gonna go ahead and select English and create. It's gonna think for a few seconds. All right, so now we have the captions here, but as you can see, they're very plain. They're just white, very, very plain font. But luckily, inside of CapCut now, we have over here templates now, so we can go ahead and we can change how these captions look. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna select apply all because you want all the changes to be made to all of the captions, not just one set of words. And then look at all these different options we have. So I'll go ahead and select this one and then you'll see as I play this back. It's in a fixer upper. While they might require attention, those, that one's pretty good. Um, let me check out one of these other ones. Let me check out this one. And additional costs, fixer uppers offer flexibility and the opportunity to customize. So you can see here that you have a ton of different templates that you can use and they come equipped with colors and different fonts and animations. So it's really fantastic. It really is. It's making my life really, really easy. It's literally almost too easy to create content now inside of CapCut. It's, it's getting ridiculous. This is supposed to be a non-professional uh, editing software, but it's getting better than most of the professional editing softwares that are out there. All right, that's gonna do it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends, do all the things. And if you'd like to see how I create real estate videos inside of CapCut, be sure to watch this video right here.